today we found more dumped rabbits here in South Florida. So if you guys see, he's right here in the bushes. Now. I think the rabbit's been here for about two weeks. So we're gonna go right around the bushes right now. Okay, I got him. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those of you that are new here Well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle I live here in sunny South Florida on a beautiful five acre property surrounded by the craziest animals in the world From clouded leopards to servals to sloths to lemurs and lizards. I have got it all So if you guys saw the title and thumbnail you will know that today we found more dumped rabbits here in South Florida now We've been dealing with a rabbit crisis this past week in South Florida. I have literally caught different dumped rabbits in three different locations. A friend of a friend has been sending me photos of this rabbit. We have been trying to track this rabbit down for four days. One minute she sees it, the next minute he's gone. And every single time that he has been there, I have not been able to make it. But finally, I made it over there. This rabbit has been loose in her yard for about three weeks. I went over there just now. I caught the rabbit, but guys, he is not in good shape. This rabbit is definitely an older, mature rabbit that has been loose for quite some time. The rabbit is in this box right here. We just picked him up. So if you guys wanna see us exam this poor rabbit over here that we just rescued, you wanna see the other two dumped rabbits, well guys, you are in the right place and we're gonna head over there and check them out. So we made it over here to our rabbit enclosure. Now we got the first two ones adopted. I just wanna give a special thank you again to Rancho Tortuga for adopting the first two rabbits. They're living a great life on a one acre farm here in South Florida. We've been dealing with a serious rabbit crisis here in South Florida, right Hannah? Yes, it's really bad this time of year. Yeah, so Easter just passed, so I suspect that people have got these rabbits and now that they've got them, they've actually dumped them. We found the first two rabbits and then we found two more rabbits and then we We've been on the hunt for this other rabbit, which we finally caught. I'm gonna show you guys all of that footage. But we have two of our other rabbits here. Now, a lot of people were very, very concerned that I didn't give the rabbits fresh water. But if you clearly watch my video, I gave them fresh water. And people were also concerned that the rabbits were eating grasses and weeds. Well, if you know anything about rabbits, you know that their wild diet consists of grasses, weeds, and wildflowers. Isn't that right, Hannah? Exactly. So here on my preserve, I have over 15 different kinds of grasses and weeds, all of which are safe. I feed them to my iguanas. The rabbits have absolutely loved them. And these are our new two rescues. Now, we literally caught these at night. I'm gonna show you that video right now. Two we'll more dumped rabbits video. at the original It's on the spot screen. The this is the rabbits. I mean, there was just a ton of rabbits out there. We gotta give them their late evening feeding so of course we've got some delicious hay um, we didn't have hay last time so we gave them some romaine lettuce but that was perfectly fine so these rabbits are super friendly now we've already sexed them it's both females so we have our hay and these are just really cute little rabbits so here you go guys look at them they're just already munching on this hay so we're just gonna give them a bunch of hay again we've got our clean fresh water in a bowl right here we want to put a little more because these guys just eat a ton I mean I feed these guys all day long and they just are eating just a whole lot of goodness so look at these guys absolutely adorable little rabbits right here oh yes this is so yummy so good the hay just tastes so good you guys ate all your weeds and grasses so now that you guys got to see these two new dumped rabbits that we rescued, well, we're going to hop into the footage of yet another dumped rabbit. So if you guys wanna see what happens to that rabbit, how he is now, if he's going to make it, well guys, you are in the right place and we're going to hop right into that footage now. All right, I got the call and we are going to rescue this elusive rabbit. My friend is actually keeping an eye on the rabbit right now so the rabbit doesn't disappear. So guys, I'm headed there. We'll be there in about 12 minutes. So guys, I'll see you once we're there. A few minutes later. Okay guys, so we just made it over here right now and I actually, what is your name? I don't actually don't even know your Joanna. name. Joanna. Joanna, Joanna. Joanna is who I've been texting. You guys have seen the screenshots about this rabbit. So we found him, we finally coordinated it. I've just been standing out here making sure it doesn't move. I mean, so how long have you been seeing it? Because right here, the rabbit's here, he's in the bushes, but how, how long have you been seeing it? I think the rabbit's been here for about two weeks. Two weeks? Yes. Okay, so the rabbit has been here for two weeks. Do, do you think he's gonna run if I go up to him? Yes, 100%. He's gonna run? Yes. He's really skittish? <laughs> yes. Okay, I know, so this is, she's never been in a video. So. <laughs> no, you're like in my face. Okay, so she's okay, so I don't wanna put her on the spot too much, but you know what? You're gonna be my, my filmer today. Oh, you so trust me? I trust you to film because my sister is not here. So you know what, guys, I'm gonna get the net out of the truck because I think we're gonna need the net and we're gonna catch this rabbit. So if you guys see, he's right here in the bushes. Now we don't wanna scare him, we don't wanna get too close, but it's another albino rabbit. 
He's just hanging out in the bushes. I think I think he sleeps in these bushes, don't you think? He does, he does. He sleeps there and then he leaves at seven in the morning and then comes back at nighttime. Okay, so, all right. So I'm gonna get the net right now and we're gonna get this guy. I think I'm gonna be able just to grab him. So let's kind of put the net down. I'm gonna kind of sneak around the tree right now and see and see what we can do. So we're gonna go right around the bushes right now. Oh, this rabbit looks older. Okay, I got him. I got him. Okay, I got him. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Look at this. This is a ginormous rabbit, but look at his condition. He's completely matted up in his fur. He definitely has been out here for quite some time. You can see he's just thick and full of mads. This rabbit is definitely not in some good condition, but let's get him in a better position. But he's, if I hold him any other way, he's gonna kick. Let's put him right here. Let's take a look at him. Hey buddy, let's get you this way. So look at this, I think this is, guys, I'm not sure what kind of rabbit is this. I don't do rabbits every day. My main stuff is the exotic, the leopards, the monkeys, the crazy stuff. But guys, comment down below what kind of a rabbit. I think this is a giant Flemish rabbit, but this rabbit, out of all the dumped rabbits so far, has been in the worst condition. You can see again just how matted the fur up is right now. I mean, the fur is probably, I don't even know, this rabbit's been out here for a long time. He's not looking too good, so guys, let's get this guy uh, in the bin, back home, and let's get him well. Okay, so Joanna was nice enough to give me this box for the rabbit, because I actually jumped in the car. I didn't bring anything for him, so we're gonna put him in the box. Okay, he is in the box. Now we wanna close it up, because we don't want him to jump on out, so we're gonna close this box up, and guys, let's get him home. One hour later. And now that you guys got to see the footage of me rescuing this poor rabbit, catching him in someone's neighborhood, well, we're gonna open the box up right now. We're gonna do an exam because we had to get back here because again, it's 7 p.m. It's gonna be dark soon. So we've gotta do this before it's dark. So Hannah, why don't you open the box up for this poor okay. rabbit? So here he is. I've, you know, I'm almost positive this is a giant Flemish rabbit, but he's in just terrible shape. So Hannah, why don't you pick him up for a second so we can look at him. Now this rabbit's okay. quite frightened. He's pretty, he's pretty big. So we're definitely gonna need to cut some of his fur away because of how bad he is. But look so at you, all of these, oh, oh my God. Gosh, this fur is completely matted up right here. So this thick mads, this did not happen overnight. By the looks of it, he was either neglected or he's been outside for so long that he's really bad like this, that he's so matted up. Let's look at his other side, Hannah. Okay. So, oh my gosh, this is, this oh, is wow. really bad. Look at all this matted fur right here. This is just super, super thick and bad. So put him back in the box. Okay. Because I'm gonna hold the rabbit and Hannah, we've got a comb and some scissors because we're actually going to be cutting some of his fur because this rabbit needs some help immediately. Yeah, so, we can't even comb through the knots because they're so thick some of these that we're gonna have to cut them off. I mean, like, yeah, like some of these thick. right here are just so, so thick. So Hannah, why don't you grab the scissors right now? I'm gonna lift them on up. So we're gonna exam his entire body. You can see right here. I mean, do you see any matted fur, Hannah? Yeah, if you yeah, could, so, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. gosh, so Hannah, why don't you start cutting some of the fur off because again, this is just so thick. I'm gonna have to like, this is just so, so thick that it's just, oh. we're gonna have to cut it. There's no other way to do this uh -huh. because it's just so thick and matted. So Hannah. I'm just gonna grab it at the base just yeah. to make sure that we don't get his skin. We wanna be extra careful. Yeah, we wanna be extra careful of all of this. So this is just some of the thick stuff on his tail, but this bunny right here is doing a great job. So what I need you guys to do right now is Comment down below a name for this new little rabbit right here. I mean, he's definitely had a rough life, but we're here to give him the help he needs, find him a home. Um, but we're definitely gonna have to quarantine this guy because we don't wow. know what kind of bugs he has, if he has parasites. Oh my gosh, what guys, is it? do you see this? Look at all of these mads right here. I don't know if you can see it that well, but it, look at Jake, oh look, Jacob, my, look at that. Oh my gosh. It's really this bad. This is really, really bad. Clearly, this rabbit has been neglected. Now guys, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but just by feeling his tail, there is literally mads just all the way to the base of his skin. It's it's really bad, Jacob. It's really bad. This guy definitely, I think he should see a vet. What do you think, Hannah? Obviously, yes, I immediately. Think he, I think he should, so we're just gonna continue cutting his, his tail, and we're just gonna slowly work there, but let's, I say, Hannah, we work on the rest of him, and then we work our way back, so we really focus on everywhere. Guys, what I want you to do, again, is comment down below, what do you think happened to this rabbit? Was he dumped? Was he an escape pet, guys? Let me know. Let us know down below, but 
Hannah, you're going to be taking these rabbits with you, right? Yeah, I'm going to be making a giant enclosure with them indoors to make sure that they get the proper care. Yeah, so Hannah's going to be doing that for these rabbits. So at the end of this video, go to her channel. It's going to be linked down Ooh, below. That just came off. That just came off. So He might have some hair loss because of all these mads. I mean, yeah, some he of might... them are just falling out. Yeah, some of them are just falling out. Clearly, there could be some kind of a, a skin infection going on. But we've looked at him and look at the top of him. You can see... Up here, it's all yellow and discolored. Oh, look at all those. You see Oh, that? yeah. This is... All these little, like, thick areas right here, those are all mad, matted areas, This too. is thick and matted and really sad, guys. So, we're going to continue getting these mads out, and we'll be back with you when we're done. So, Hannah and I are thinking we're actually going to have to shave some of his fur. What do you think, Hannah? Yeah, because if you look at this, guys, I cut most of this area right here, and that's, like, basically his skin. Now, these these matted areas go way, way deep. So It goes all the way to, to the start of his skin, yeah, all the way to wanna, the base of the fur. We don't want to accidentally cut his skin, so I think with, like, a, a shaver, it it's definitely a lot safer because, you know, we can't actually cut him with it. So, don't you think so, Jacob? I think so, but we're going to continue cutting some of these really thick mads that immediately immediately need to come on out because this guy is in rough shape. So that's going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's rabbit rescue. It's been a really crazy week here in South Florida rescuing these rabbits. And if you look in the box, look at all the matted fur handle. Why don't you pick up some of those mats and show everyone what we've been dealing with. Look so at this, guys. this is just really bad. Look at all the fur we've cut off. Just it's like black, thick, black, nasty fur so that's going to end today's episode hope you guys enjoyed watching again hannah's going to be taking are you going to be taking just this one or all of them no i'm going to be taking all three hannah's going to be taking all three of them we're going to be working on getting the rest of these mads out so guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed today's episode please make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below a prayer for this guy that he's going to survive and make it and guys if you're not subscribed yet to me or my sister and you want to know how these rabbits do well guys all you got to do is go right now hit the subscribe button tap that little notification bell and you'll be notified whenever i post